Hi, Murli. How are you? Yeah, hi, Rakesh. I am good. Thanks for asking. How are you? Yeah, I am good too. Thank you. So can you tell us something about yourself? Yeah, sure. So, uh, Rakesh, yeah, I am coming from my IT background. Like, uh, I am into manual manual and both automation i'm having around seven plus years of experience so my total experience into a uh, wipro company only so there i worked as a manual test manual engineer like in the initial stage as a test engineer and after that uh, i worked as a senior test engineer in the like in the wipro itself uh, seven years experience out of them five years uh, manual experience and uh, nearly two like not completely two, nearly uh, one one and a half year into automation so basically i am into uh, microsoft account where we were dealing with uh, uh, pc related apps mobile related like i have done the mobile testing also and devices also so in the microsoft itself we have three different different teams actually so in the in those uh, three teams i basically worked in mobile team mo most of my tenure in that account so that was around three years. So in that uh, three years, so uh, I worked as a TL around nearly one year. We were having some uh, 10 people, uh, we were actually. So mm -hmm. for that small team, I uh, I uh, like uh, I worked as a TL. So we usually report V3, I mean to say, uh, device team, uh, mobile team, and the PC team. Mm -hmm. So these V3 uh, TLs will uh, uh, convey our day-to-day uh, -day activities to the one person and he will collaborate everything and he'll, he used to send our daily reports to the client. So that's how it used to go. Mm -hmm. And after that uh, Microsoft account, I worked in the Wipro's internal project. So that was so that is where I introduced into uh, web-related testing, so web functional testing. Previously, I was into more into uh, acceptable testing system testing kind of thing so uh, after that uh, into web application testing so that was completely functional and from there i started learning like uh, towards automation so web we can automate uh, uh, by selenium so in the present i am working philips so there uh, already framework was there already uh, selenium with the selenium java framework was established already so my tl is helping me to do some some little kind of scripting like kind of uh, automating test cases like a uh, test manual test case are there we're just scripting them into automation so that is what uh, about myself uh, rakesh overall till now great great wonderful so let's good thing okay so can you tell me something about the QA processes or, and the challenges that you are facing in the processes and how do you overcome them? In the entire my tenure, you, you mean to say, Rakesh? Mm -hmm. My entire tenure or in the web related thing? Yeah, yeah. Let's say if there is some QA process in the mm -hmm. project, okay. And there are some technical challenges in that QA process. So how will you overcome them okay so qa related things it is completely up to like uh, when it comes to a testing process so we may i basically i faced uh, uh, like kind of uh, documentation process like not completely documented clearly in the present account so there that's that's where i faced some little challenge like uh, there is no proper documentation we have requirements still though but uh, we don't have any proper documentation which uh, process to follow like which methodology to follow so that is what uh, uh, we i faced in the initial stage of, of in this process and previously in the previous accounts also so uh, there actually it was i completely new to the completed project so there we have streamlined the process like for suppose uh, we were uh, need, we need to do uh, uh, mobile compatibility uh, uh, testing over there uh, the mobile upgradation process used to take two to three hours so that two to three hours every day we go to morning by nine o'clock so if it will complete around uh, 12 to one one o'clock so one o'clock we go for lunch and two o'clock we'll come by so hardly we used to have three to four hours of our testing time so that was the main uh, challenge for us in the initial stage so for that purpose what we have done we have a night uh, shift we have scaled, complete not completely night shift 
after till kind of 10 to 11 o'clock the person used to stay back after our regular office hours are like uh, 6 or 7 if we consider from there to around 3 to 4 hours so uh, we implemented one tool using c sharp so there we will flash uh, 8 to 8 devices at a time so we will be flashing those devices to base build and from there we are upgrading to the uh, uh, kind of uh, stable build so from there, next person, next next day morning, the person who comes in, he takes hardly uh, 20 to 45 minutes, that's all. So he can uh, continue his testing. So that we have implemented uh, in the uh, this uh, compatibility related saving time. So this is what we have done to overcome that challenge. That issue. Mm -hmm. And in the present uh, uh, account related to uh, web thing, so here I personally uh, learned about the application by doing exploratory and understanding some traceability matrix. So now I, I myself documented one uh, uh, testing scenarios, like which scenarios we need to cover for smoke, sanity, and what needs to be done in the production. So these things I personally uh, uh documented rakesh mm -hmm. okay great, great so these things i raised uh, yeah. mm -hmm. now let's say if any new employee or team member is joining your team right new person is joining mm -hmm. your team so how will you coach and mentor okay. the new team members yeah sure so actually it is the stuff from, from for me it is started from the second year itself so for us it was people are coming in and, uh, and other people are going out so this was happening so for us uh, basically i uh, done this job for around uh, mentor not kind of completely mentor so we usually uh, in the mobile application testing, what we used to do we do our testing for around 3 to 4 hours and after that we ask the person who is the new joinee before that, we'll give him some basic documentation to read. And after that, uh, we will uh, sit with him and we will tell him what is the procedure, what is the, what is the process of doing flashing and why we need to do this, why we need to follow this procedure only. And if we follow this, what, what we can achieve in a little amount of time and what were the challenges we faced earlier before implementing this process so that he can understand what is the importance of the process. So, and then uh, the uh, level of uh, uh, reporting uh, to the issue, like what's suppose if the person got any issue in initial stage itself, how he need to approach to the uh, next level, like per suppose uh, the TEL or bug triage person who is uh, dealing with that and how can you approach them in the hierarchy level. So these things we used to uh, uh, guide them, Rakesh. And uh, another thing, when it comes to agile methodology, we have little more uh, organized kind of uh, traceability matrix were there, and uh, uh, product owner is there already in place. And the majority of the time, we have some clear documentation in the agile. So where I worked in the there, I that was waterfall model. So we don't have proper documentation over there. So the person who is the, giving the KT, he has to give him the instructions clearly. Otherwise, there would, there would be a little uh, disturbance for the new guy. So that's what I faced. So I make sure that no one uh, faced that situation. So that's how we did that. Absolutely. So you were mentioning something about Agile. So are you conducting or a part of uh, retrospective meetings? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Rakesh. So we were doing like a grooming session we used to do before starting our sprint. So that is kind of grooming our user stories uh, with the help of uh, developers, product owner, and that uh, and the testing team as a testing lead. And after that, uh, uh, retrospective. This is after completion of the sprint. What things were go gone well, and what we can improve, and what was the challenges we faced, and how can we overcome them. So these things we used to discuss, and uh, uh, we used to uh, put on the action points also Rakesh, like who need to take this as a responsibility for the next sprint and how this person uh, like you how that person has to make sure that, that thing has sorted out in the next coming sprint also so this thing we should discuss Rakesh. All right, correct. okay uh, yeah. let's say you have to test a zomato application yeah. right so what would be the test scenarios that uh, mm -hmm. you will be considering while testing a zomato application yeah okay sure so zomato you, web application or mobile application rakesh you are referring to Mo mobile based application okay sure so mobile based application first the first the installation process like uh, first 
it uh, we will will go to the play store if it is an android application will be play store and if you go for a microsoft mobile so i worked as a microsoft mobile so there we have different store so we'll go there and we'll search for the product first so that is the first step of that and from there uh, if you if you take mintra it has only one vendor if you take some other different pdf reader or different applications some generic ones we will be having different different vendors so we used to select we need to select the uh, trustworthy vendor then we can download that uh, uh, a particular application into our application sorry um, our device then after that uh, once we uh, launch that application we will be having some uh, Uh, kind of permissions like uh, do, uh, if it if it asks for location purpose thing so we will we will allow that and then uh, if it is asking any uh, kind of uh, current device location and then um, timing thing and the um, uh, what kind of like which place we, you, we are in kind of providing the current uh, pin code and all so these things we will be providing over there and there will be a sign up and uh, sign in process if you are an existing customer you will go with sign in and if you are new to it you will be go with the register process and we, the register process will follow like uh, entering mobile number and then uh, get providing basic details name uh, first name last name and after that uh, the delivery address and the preference like for suppose food any food preferences zomato yeah if it, if any food preferences the if the application asks so we will provide them vegetarian or non vegetarian so these kind of things will if it is there we will uh, go ahead and proceed them and after that uh, once the basic step like uh, uh, profile creation is done so then we'll go for the uh, order play, order uh, placement we'll search for an item which we are looking for so then uh, there we will be checking the uh, whether uh, the item is displaying pro- properly or not and next to that uh, how many reviews are there like yeah. how the review uh, system it is and the comments and like based upon the ui thing we will be writing our test cases rakesh not specifically uh, these things like how the ui or how the uh, functionality goes the same way we will uh, go for the test cases and test scenarios right right so apart from that you can also add test scenarios based on the uh, billing discounts are available on the home page those are displayed properly or not then uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 then the past orders should be shown on the home page for quick delivery then the right delivery yeah. location that has been shown there or not let's say if you search on the basis of zip code or you search on the basis of some street or some address some landmarks yeah. so those things should be displayed then filter and sort options are yeah. there right filtered yeah. options generally based on i think uh, qsins or rating should be shown right then sorting of restaurants should be available mm-hmm. yeah. the ratings that yeah is- like based on the function yeah as it told based on the functionality we'll go by the uh, with that uh, rakesh correct correct okay great okay uh, registration and login also you have covered then cart page also yeah. you have covered account section is fine okay okay now let's say if you have to test uh <laughs> yeah you want to have water you can have it uh i lost you rakesh in between yeah. okay you wanted to have some water i thought yeah yeah, yeah. thank yeah, you. you can you can have it no issues sorry yeah 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 no issues okay now let's say if you have to test a particular uh, amazon based kindle application right so what would be the test scenarios of them okay so kindle application that like uh, going for the play store and installing that will be uh, common for every application like if it is a mobile mm-hmm. and if it is a web application and redirect into the url so that will be common mm-hmm. and then so there also we, we are we were having a registration and login thing uh, rakesh mm-hmm. so for this uh, kindle application we have one uh, mm, 
concerned thing is it is about the region so which region it is applicable like in which region it is not, some for suppose in india uh, for uh, it, it is not applicable for for some duration of the time i am not sure now it is applicable or not actually when we were testing so this application you we need to change the device location to us a region then it is allowing us to download so these kind of uh, constraints were there uh, for this uh, amazon kindle application and then once once we complete the uh, login or registration process then we'll go into the application so there we will be having a uh, menu options like uh, uh, which type of like based on the popularity and our um, based on like which type of uh, stories you want to read is it a fantasy or a thriller or is it a uh, sci-fi sci sci scientific uh, fictional or like based on the uh, category we will be we, we can sort the uh, books accordingly and the search functionality so which uh, like for which book if you want to uh, search for suppose uh, there is a yogis day to joy if i want to search that book i can go ahead and search that and, uh, and like based on the search results it should display uh the books also uh based upon the rating like top rating should be on the first and the uh, it will follows by that uh, rakesh usually so that is how the search search functionality should work and if i uh, cancel that operation the search should the search field should be clear and then uh, if it, if it is a, a free book we can directly open and read it if it is a, a paid one we, we may need to uh, pay, we may need to purchase that book and we can read it and uh, uh, in the reading options also so like uh, do 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 we need to read in the daylight mode or in the uh, darkness so this uh, adjustment of the uh, Uh, lighting uh, for the of that uh, particular book and do you want to read it in a uh, like a format also like which style which format into in terms of font so which font you want to read it so these things uh, we will be testing rakesh okay okay great any any other scenario that is coming to your mind um and apart from this we can share this uh, application to over social media and then uh, logging out and then referring to a friend and then uh, and then we can add it to our uh, wish list or any particular list if you want to add it we can go ahead and uh, add this book like read later or uh, kind of interesting this like some kind of uh, reading list uh, names i am telling mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's, that's this, yeah okay yeah that's all uh, and log out thing will be there mm -hmm. okay great yeah in like that particular user mm -hmm. okay now let's say uh, okay now now this is this was a manual testing based question now coming to the automation point of view in selenium automation mm. uh, you would have experienced you know have you have you faced this exception like uh, element click intercepted exception click is it is not clickable at this point other element uh -huh. will see the click yeah, right? yeah 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 not clickable at this time not so hidden yeah. so how will you overcome so, this scenario hmm. yeah sure sure rakesh so that not clickable thing is measured of the time or like as but my uh, experience so it was hidden sometimes that yeah. the particular web element which i am referring it was hidden due to the uh, filter thing if it was filter thing was drop down list was there might be it was hidden over there or if it is a, a menu options so many options we supposed to click on the menu then only it will display so uh, probably it will it could it could have hidden thing and some kind of some scenarios it Could, it could it could be a reason like network issue might be the page was not properly loaded so that's why we are not able to click that particular uh, element which we are referring the, there so i would do uh, context click i like, like re refreshing the page i would do that and then uh, if it is a hiding thing i will check my uh, uh, object finding method like how i am doing like am i uh, re referring the web element properly or not so these things i can trust very fair mm -hmm. okay which one is more reliable xpath or css um that, that was little, like it was depending to person to person for me person i prefer uh, xpath uh, uh, rakesh why because they they xpath has little more advantages than css i feel mm -hmm. no no definitely that's why i 
Yes, yes. There yeah. are scenarios where you know expert plays a good role, and there are scenarios mm. where CSS would help you in a drastic. Yes, yes, yeah. Both have yeah. their own pros and so it depends on the person. Yeah. Okay. Up to me, like CSS was a little faster than XPath, mm -hmm. even though I can traverse uh, back in uh, XPath, mm -hmm. whereas in CSS I can go forward only, uh, Rakesh. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now let's say there is a web element which starts mm -hmm. with the tag A. Okay, you have to automate this particular element. The moment you okay. click on it, the tag changes to B. How will you write locator for this? Okay, like after clicking, after performing some action or on that, the tag name is changing. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll repeat the question. It's a web element. It's an HTML based application. Website is there, mm -hmm. which you have to consider for automation. And there is one mm -hmm. particular web element which starts with mm. the tag a now the moment you click on it the tag changes to b how will you write locator for this like i'm not sure i'm giving a try i'm not sure perfect yeah, answer yeah. to this yeah, yeah, so tag a, yeah yeah so tag a basically as per my knowledge so it was referring to a anchor tag or probably that was that is referring to a link if I click on that link, if it is re redirecting to different window, so I will go with the get window handles and I will uh, get the uh, um, like uh, IDs, like IDs I will use, I will get in the set and, and from there I will use the IDs iterator and then I will uh, move to the different window. So if it is a uh, uh, anchor tag and if it is a link kind of thing, mm -hmm. like if it is referring to different uh, uh, window. Mm -hmm. But if it is a different, like uh, converting to tag B, I'm not sure, Rakesh. Mm -hmm. um, okay. but... So let this be an open question for the viewers who are watching this video. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll okay. be repeating the question for them. So the question is, uh, there is a web element which is supposed to be automated and it starts with mm -hmm. the tag A. The moment we click on it, the tag changes to B. So we need to find a reliable locator for this. So what would be the, how will you write locator for this scenario? So this will be an open question. Okay. Now, uh, do you know about SVG element in XPath? SVG. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Rakesh, I, I am not aware. Okay. No issue. That is absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. okay. So let's move to the next question then. Okay, now consider a scenario where you had released a particular feature or let's say an application and the mm -hmm. customer has found the defect while doing user acceptance testing. Okay, mm -hmm. now, okay. yeah, now they open your test cases or test scenarios. It is marked as pass, right, by you on so and so date. And at the same time, it is not working at their end, so they are marking as fail. Now they are coming back to you and your team and they are asking, like, how was this test scenario tested or how uh, is your test, is your testing done when it is failing at our end and how, how were you able to pass it, pass this particular test case at your end, right? So this is the discussion going on. How will you, uh, how will you discuss this scenario or what would be the uh, I would say the answer from your side when this question is being asked from the customer. Yeah, like that was completely like it was an unfortunate situation. But uh, mm -hmm. from our end, we have done our uh, testing or, or our uh, uh, doing a fact perfectly. Mm -hmm. right? Because when we are uh, doing our testing, so when we mark it as pass, we will be uh, providing uh, some evidence like for, for uh, where I am clicking on this. So for which purpose I am passing this. So we used to put our evidence like uh, execution evidence we will be keeping. So we can show them. So this is what our execution 
distribution evidence so that is why it is working fine from our end and uh, uh, there were uh, chances like uh, we have to uh, check from in your environment like uh, why it is failing so we may need some time to do rca from your uh, like uh, uh, in your environment why it is happening so we can do that environment replica in our side like but suppose we can mock the deploy in that same environment and we can do some rca over there like uh, by because the good thing is we have covered that scenario like we, it is not missed from our end we have covered that it is passed from our end that means perfectly fine with our environment it is issue is with their environment so we will be checking the environment dependency or uh, whether it is any uh, uh, some kind of uh, uh, any uh, 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 what is it uh, i would say region related dependency is there or anything for that particular issue or uh, like we will do some rca basically uh, rakesh to uh, find out like what will happen over there correct correct so it's very good that you are doing root cause analysis another thing is uh, you can also tell them that uh, to provide the environment details maybe their environment maybe their machine mm. or maybe their mm. browser was having some yeah 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 exactly configuration exactly because, because of which yeah, yeah. functionality was not working yeah that's what we'll do replica of that environment and we can try the same mm -hmm. right okay uh, okay muldi krishna i am done with the interview do you have any questions for me uh, <laughs> i don't know anything sir like but the way you re you reply or way the way you treat the like interviewer so i feel happy so that's why i want to have a mock with you sir mm -hmm. so any improve improve from my end sir no no i think uh, uh, the feedback i i'll give you a very positive feedback i don't know that there are any areas for you to improve but just few of the things like uh, you know what you can do is uh, uh, when it when it comes to such questions like uh, on the team building side let's say if any new team member Sorry. has joined or mm -hmm. uh, how was a retrospective meeting going on so what you can mm -hmm. do is after giving the gist of the whole question like so and so things are happening then you can add your yeah. points what is your what was your contribution let's say in uh, in retrospective meeting you gave this suggestion and now in your project such things are getting implemented ultimately it's a helpful it's playing a helpful part for your qa team members the way you explained oh. me in that question no when i asked you when a new joinee is joining so you are giving them the test cases how they will mm. they file a defect right so yeah. those things you have to put in yeah. all the questions i mean that was a very impressive answer i was so happy to hear you from that that whenever a new person is joining you know sometimes they will have their own um, queries they will have their own confusions they will yeah. be able to come out of that silos very easily yeah or they will be yes, coming sir. in the new team new project maybe they are fresher yeah. at some time mm -hmm. yes, so at that time if if you are playing this kind of supporting role to them and if you show them if you tell them in an interview as well then it would be oh. an icing on in cake for you right so yeah, yeah sure, add, sure. add these yeah, sure. points these are very good points and it would yeah, definitely create a positive impression on the it will leave a positive impression yeah. on the interview right yeah thank you sir yeah. actually in the retrospective thing one thing uh, what i what like i told personally so like uh, we were getting the bills very late sir like uh, i mean sprint is closing a friday so we used to get bills in the thursday it was a very uh, problematic for us as a tester to do we will have very less time so in the next sprints we implemented that we used we need to get the intermediate build whatever you have done uh, whatever development you have done you give us the build in the first week itself intermediate kind of build so that we can complete at least one feature so this was our, my suggestion and that was helping our teams as well yeah, yeah this so point i would have told you thanks yeah yeah so that is very good a valid point let's say even out of 10 test cases if you are able to test four test cases on tuesday then also it's fine at least you have covered yeah, yeah. Of testing rather than yeah. till thursday yeah that was our concern so we implemented this intermediate uh, demo and intermediate build thing we implemented actually yeah. okay then that's a good point yes sir about automation like uh, what is the improvement area for myself sir actually i am having less automation knowledge yeah yeah i yeah, yeah from 7 years you have you told like 1.5 or 2 years of knowledge in automation yeah. so maybe yes, you will sir. get some of the questions yeah. on java java programming and okay. what is hashmap what is hatchet then um, okay free 
which one is good, which one, what is the difference between set and tree? So these kind of questions you will get, right? And then collections, collections. and then you can also get questions on CICD Jenkins pipeline. But mostly I covered oh. manual testing in this interview because I thought you were giving good, uh, you, you know, you were, you, you were prepared well from manual testing perspective. Even in automation, you were able to give answers of Selenium, like yeah. one of the question was there uh, yeah. for that. The click will be done on some other point that answer you gave for SVG element. Okay, you have to read for that SVG element. I'll tell okay. you. Yeah, so that is one thing. Then uh, you have to tell about. Uh, yeah, I think uh, much questions were not asked on Selenium. Fine, but this is good. Your overall preparation. Okay. Is, okay. Okay then. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank All you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank. You.